Right, off we go again. Go by to the little streams now. Going further downhill. This part of the day is usually alright for me because the pollen, apparently it goes right up, gets carried up. It's sort of round about half past three onwards and it starts to gradually come down. That's when I got the wheeze the other day when I was up on the Mendips. When I was up over Crook's Peak on a big hike, I, um, I got the wheeze round about three o'clock. Oh, look at that. That looks like honeysuckle, doesn't it? That's why I'm saying I still reckon there was some sort of human settlement around here because of some of the plants out here. That's honeysuckle for sure. Keep your eyes peeled for snakes. I'd love to find one of you adders. They should be coming out now. It's sunny here. Thing is, they hear me and my voice, they sneak off. If I got bitten by one, I'd take an antihistamine pretty quick. Rub on me antihistamine cream and then phone for help. Look at these lovely. Because you need to take some sort of action when you, if you get bitten. Antihistamine's a really good one to do. If necessary, take two. I hope it didn't come to that, but you never know. I was bitten by something once. I don't know if it was an adder. I was in a graveyard and I had just sandals on. Something bit me on my... I can't remember if I was bitten on the toe or just the foot, but it was excruciating. It really was excruciating. And... Um, it's crossing there, Sheila. Hi! Crossing another little border with a bit more. Same stream coming down. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what it was. But something really bit me and I, I was scared. I was in Kent at the time on a family tree trip. <sighs> Can't remember where exactly, but I just remember. <sighs> I had to get to a campsite and I... I had to drive with it was my accelerator pedal foot. I mean, I was in a lot of pain. Um, I didn't go and see anybody. I just sort of let it wear off after it hurt for ages, days. But I was in the middle of a holiday. Fortunately, it didn't kill me, whatever it was. But that could have been a snake in a graveyard, see? I never ever go in graveyards now with um, sandals on or come anywhere like this either. Always wear proper footwear when you're out here. And um, so that's just the sort of place you find us. You think you'd see a adder, wouldn't you? They're not, they're just not coming out. And this is adder country, mind. This is out of country. Now there's a path going up there. I wouldn't risk that this time of year. No way. If you're going to meet an adder, get, if you want to really see an adder, you walk up there. How are you doing, folks? Are you bored yet? Are you enjoying this beautiful countryside I'm taking you to? Looking for adders. A little bit of adder hunting. No, we're not going out of our way. There are lots of little tracks. These could be deer tracks as well, don't forget. This is just the sort of place that they're very, very good at camouflage. But of course, they've I've been told they're more scared of you. They won't actually attack you for it for no reason. Unless they feel threatened by you.
We'll soon be down to a main path called the Greenway and the Coleridge Walk, by the way, when we get down the bottom. It's a junction point where walks meet. And there's also a couple of gates. There's one gate, if you go straight across, you can go down to Kilf, but there's always the risk of cows in those fields. I haven't got time to do that today. No. Too far away from the bus service. Too far. Oh, look at that lovely tree as well, everyone. Isn't that gorgeous? Surrounded by beauty here. And there's the big tall trees over there where I was earlier. I'll just zoom in. I walked past those big ferns and I reckon that was a, somewhere up there, I reckon there was a settlement. That's making a statement, those trees in Smith's Coombe. And these beautiful oaks. Seen me pass here now, haven't you, a few times, Oakies? I so say, these ferns are going to get higher and higher. Sometimes the snakes will go on pathway um, because I did see a snake over Robert Warren on the path once. Um, it was a big snake and it very, very quickly disappeared. That was sunbathing on a path. And that was quite busy over there. You get bikers over there and over a row barrow. Another stream meandering down from different spots. Lovely for the animals, isn't it? Having all this beauty. Yep. Not too deep so we don't get our feet too wet. Again. Yeah, the ferns are getting taller than me now, look. Growing up here. Gauntlet of ferns. I'm hoping they're a bit small where I've got to go in a minute because what my memory of them further up is that there's loads of them. I think 10 foot tall, some of them. God, the stream keeps going, doesn't it? Got a bit stagnant here. Struggling a bit here to go out to sea, aren't you? That's where it goes, you see. It goes out to sea, down at um, Kilv. <sighs> I thought we were at the bottom. I keep thinking we're at the bottom. I forget how far down this is. Now if I did have to do plan B, it would be, I'd have to turn off and start heading back to Bitnoller. That's why when I get down here, I really do have to check the time. Because uh, if I want to do Wordsworth's place, I've got to have enough time. If not, I'll leave it for another day. Because I don't have to come this way all the time to go to Wordsworth's place. I just head straight for Holford and Bitnoller. But I want, this is my priority today, doing this green, this smith comb. <coughs> but, if I find it's looking a bit risky to do Holford, I might have to cut, cut across up the top and sort of go back, you know. I wouldn't have this problem if I had my van, I just wouldn't even think of it. I'd just be doing this and just take my time do what I want. It does uh, interfere every now and again. It niggles me really because I've lost, not lost, I came out later. If I come out, or if, if I came out earlier in the week, you have to pay a lot more. You can't really use your passes on the bus or the, but you can on a Saturday. There's a track going up there, look. We're not far now from the junction. Not far now. Let's look back. It's been a lovely coom, very peaceful. 
very peaceful. There's a track going up there that I'm going to go up. And it will get exposed at times. I've got my hat in my bag. I brought my hat, actually, my summer hat. And it could get quite hot. Here's the stream again, struggling to get down. Um, a little bridge now. If you go that way, on the Greenway Walk, that'll take you on Wordsworth Walk, Coleridge Walk, to West Quantock Head and Watch It Way, go that way. And there's a sign there, look. Uh, or you can also get through here. I'm not going today, but I've done it. There's a sign, Smithcombe, which we've just come down. A39. <laughs> yeah, if you want to go to the A39, go down there. That will also take you down across fields. we we'll just go down there briefly and have a look. Wait a minute. So it is a nice field, actually, what I remember. And then I'll stop in the shade and just have a drink before we start climbing uphill. we just stop down here for a minute. Yeah, this is the way I come. If I want, if I parked over Kilve Way, because you've got to remember, I used to park over these places. East Quantock Head, I was a favourite of mine. Beautiful church, lovely village. Now, if it isn't this one, I get through. There's another gate. I got a feeling there's another gate further up there, so this might not be the one, but we can stop here anyway. But if you go straight across these fields, you'll come, you'll come to, but you've got to cross a very busy, dangerous road, the A39. There could be cows in here, you can't see them from here, but I've got a feeling there's another gate. I don't think. Oh no, you can go this way. Yeah, you can. Right, wait a minute. This will show you. Oh God, look at those. Isn't that beautiful sight? Yeah, if you go straight across this field, go through another, over a stile or another gate, then you go down past some little cottages down the bottom there. Uh, if you're scared of um, the cows, you can walk down the lane to uh, East Quantock Head. Yeah, I'm just going to stop. Look at that. Look at that. Let's just zoom in. How beautiful. They're really on display today, the foxgloves, aren't they? Really beautiful. Wow. Loads of belladonna. I'm going to check the time now as well, folks. I'm just going to take a picture. Over and out a minute. 